Welcome to another Craig and Dave Unscripted for Computer Science Students. This is your late November update. We apologize, it's landing with you early December, but we are busy. Uh, look, if you're a computer science teacher, please head over to our website, craigandave.org. You're going to find tools, resource training, and lots more, including our awesome, ever growing community of computer science teachers in our Facebook group called Mission Control. So, on with the show. Well, hi students. Yes, it is early December. Um, we dropped the ball this time. <laughs> this should have been November's update, but we have been uh, busy away. As we know, uh, you lot are, it's only one minute the term starts and all of a sudden it's almost Christmas. Like, where does that go? If you're those uh, year 11s or year 13s, you'll be like, enjoy this, the break that's coming up because, uh, yeah, that exam pressure really hits in when you you get back uh but one of the first things we want to talk to you about is we are going to do one more december um unscripted for students and we're going to do that in a couple of weeks so and we're here to say this is the time to get your shout outs in isn't it dave we get them every year so <laughs> yeah absolutely so um you know i think one of the best gifts that a teacher can receive is just that recognition from a student that you are making a difference you know from a, t a student's perspective teaching looks really really easy but on the uh, other side of the fence there's a lot more to it and i can guarantee you that a lot of your teachers are absolutely exhausted and they're probably stressed out from all the demands and things that they get that you don't see. So the best thing that you can do for them is just sort of recognize that they're making a difference and saying thank you to them. Now, obviously, you can do that in person. But if you would like us to say thank you to your teacher uh, on your behalf and give them a shout out uh, from your class, then we are here to do that. It's something that we do a couple of times a year, um, Craig, just to give students the opportunity to uh, write into us tell us uh, who they are, who their class is, who their teacher is, why they're so special, and to um, wish them all the best. Details, all you need to do is, if you do want a, a shout out, email us, it's gonna come up on the screen, admin at craigandave.co.uk. Now, we do get quite a few of these shout outs, and I think students get excited and they forget to give us any details. Give a shout out to Mr. Jones, and I'm like, brilliant, Mr. Jones from where, what school? So. Just just, just pause the excitement. Please pop in there, obviously, the name of the teacher you're shouting out, uh, you know, the class. So, for example, it's Year 11 Computing or Year 13, so we know who you are, you know, from all of us at Redbridge High School, Year 10 Computing for Mr. Jones. That's all we really uh, need. And um, and then, say, if you've got a particular special message you want, include that as well. But, yeah, admin at craigandave.co.uk. We can't promise to get through all of them, but we're going to get through as many as we can uh, in our December Unscripted in a couple of weeks. Well, I mean, we don't actually have a lot to tell you this month. <laughs> I mean, is there anything else you wanted to go over, Dave? I mean, I don't think we have any major updates. Hopefully, you're enjoying goals. Obviously, that... Uh, hit Smart Revise. If you are using Smart Revise at schools, goals came out recently. We've been getting lots of feedback for that. We are listening to all the feedback as always. And I don't want to give too much away, but Goals Students was actually part two of a trilogy of major features that we've designed to help you with Smart Revise. So the first one was that flight pass showing you where you are if you're on track, then Goals helping you get on track and knowing what it is you have to do to stay on track. And we've got a third big major one. And I've got a sneaky feeling this third one will be the one that students particularly are most excited by. But we're going to keep that in the vault for a little while longer, I think. <laughs> yeah, we are. And like all good programs, you know, we've put goals out into the field. And although we've tested it extensively, we don't really know what the impact is going to be on you as students on a sort of day to day and weekly basis. It may well be that you find that goals are just too demanding. Uh, maybe that we're asking too much of you. Maybe you think they're too easy and we're asking too little of you. It's hard to know, really. And we understand that different students will be in different stages and they'll have different pressures. And so there isn't a one size fits all um, approach, even though uh, Smart Advice is uh, insisting that you uh, achieve three goals every week. Those goals will be different from student to student, depending on what your data is saying. But 
Um, if you have got some feedback about that, um, please don't send it to us directly because we do receive a lot of communication. We'd rather just receive your shout outs, to be perfectly honest with you. Um, but do communicate with your teacher. Let them know how you feel about goals, whether you think that it's too much, it's too little, um, or even if it's about right. And then encourage them to collect some feedback from the class, maybe. And then they can send us just a single email on behalf of their school to tell us how they're getting on with it. And we do anticipate having to balance uh, those numbers over the coming months, as, you, as we do with all, all programmes, really. Yeah. I mean, you say feedback from teachers is, is brilliant. I mean, just so you're aware, especially for those 12s and 13s out there who are either very far through or maybe you know, starting their uh, their A-level project, the NEAs, we meet as a team of our developers every Monday and we look at all the new stuff that's come in from teachers and our users and we analyse them and then decide what should go in and what shouldn't and then design it. So yes, six formers, analysis is important. Your teachers aren't just nagging you for no point whatsoever. Do the analysis first. Right. Um, anything else for this month, Dave? Have I, have I missed anything? Because it was a short one, wasn't it? It is a short one, but I just also wanted to um, tell students, uh, really, where we are with uh, Craig and Dave as a team. And yes. uh, there's a little bit of confusion out there about uh, who's who. And it really comes about because the subject knowledge videos that your teachers ask you to watch, or maybe you watch them for revision, those are narrated by Craig. And so you don't uh, you don't really see his face other than when we do these unscripted, which is one of the reasons why we do do these unscripted, so that you can see the face behind the voice. But Craig narrates the video, so that that's him. Um, I'm Dave, and uh, I Hi, Dave. Uh, do lots of... <laughs> I know, there's a bit of confusion. I, I am Dave. I am the original Dave from Craig and Dave, and um, I haven't changed. I am who I am. Uh, but I do a lot of the... Um, behind the scenes stuff, working on workbooks, working on time to code, working on smart advice content, all sorts of things that uh, are not the videos, essentially, is what I'm working on on a day-to-day -day basis. So if you are completing a workbook, well, chances are I might have uh, planned that activity for you. Anyway, so that's, that's us two, but we're not the only two um, at Craig and Dave, and we know lots of you are uh, frequently wondering who else is involved. So to complete the team, we have got Mark, who is our technical director, mm. and he is our analyst programmer uh, guru. He knows uh, far more about programming than Craig and Dave, if you can even believe that. If you really like a particular feature in Smart Revise, it's because we've come up with it and analysed it. And if you don't like it or you found a bug, it's Mark's fault. That's, that's, probably, yeah. about, that's probably fair. Yeah. So Mark's the person that does... Um, the programming for Smart Revise, okay? He then has um, a colleague called Connor who works with him, but Connor is sadly leaving us um, in the end of December because uh, he's been off uh, to do uh, bigger and better things. So we wish Connor all the best for the future, but uh, he's going to be leaving, uh, I say our development team, but it's really just Mark and Connor to be perfectly <laughs> honest with you. So. Uh, Mark's going to be under a little bit more pressure moving forward to try and get your features out, but we know he can cope with that. Um, and then in addition to that, we've got some other people. So we've got um, Sam. Sam does a lot of the back office stuff. Uh, he, he does lots of preparations when we go to events and festivals and things like that. And he looks after all our IT systems, just making sure that we've got access to all the things that we need uh, access to and all that kind of stuff. Um, then in addition, we've got um, Andy, who is our uh, business manager, and he looks after all the financial side of things, making sure we're on the right side of the law and doing all the boring stuff that Craig and Dave can't be bothered with, let's face it. And does it superbly well. Uh, so without him, we literally wouldn't have a, a company. And we're very grateful because we don't want to do any of it. <laughs> nah, nah, we haven't got time for any of the legal stuff. We just want to make resources, right? Um, and then we've got uh, Robin, who uh, if you ever send a query in, to Craig and Dave, the chances are it's Robin that sees it first. And Robin generally liaises with teachers that have got queries about our products and uh, provides that uh, customer support that uh, 
we think is uh, is really really good at, at Craig and Dave. So that that's our team. Just to clarify things. Oh, but uh, uh, no, Dave, you've forgotten <laughs> you've forgotten the important part, which is we also have some content creators. So yeah. as much as Craig and I would like to be uh, making all the content for all our products, that's just not feasible as we're as we're growing and growing. So we also have some other teachers that help us out. And one of those teachers is Kat Morgan. So Kat Morgan every week produces little short videos, some interesting things about computer science. And Craig and I love those too, because we learn a lot um, along the way as well. And there's also a monthly video that's in a slightly longer format that Kat produces as well, that looks at a topic in a little bit more detail. So we're really, really grateful for the input that Kat puts into our YouTube channel. Because without Cat, we just wouldn't have the capacity to make lots of new content. So really, Cat is making sure that our YouTube channel is always uh, got new content on it, and that's really important to us. And we have a very small team of other people busy working on creating resources to help us support all the courses that we support, whether that's writing new questions for Smart Advice or producing new workbook activities, programming challenges, whatever it happens to be. We've got a little uh, a little small team of really trusted teachers that we know really well, and uh, they create some great stuff too. So you know who you are. Thank you very much. There you are. That's it. But I mean, the original days, it was just Craig and Dave. Well, no, in fairness, Craig, Dave and Sam, that I'd get told of an adventure. That was where it started. But as we grew, we decided to keep it as Craig and Dave because we thought calling it Craig and Dave and Mark and Sam and Connor and Robin and Andy was just a mouthful and no one would get it. <laughs> But anyway, all seriousness aside then, that's it for this month. Look, please don't forget to subscribe. If you have any comments or questions, pop them down the video below. We'll try to answer as many as we can. And don't forget that next month is our Christmas shout out. We are going to actually do it in a couple of weeks, sort of mid-December. So if you're watching this now, don't wait around. Get your information in and we'll try and squeeze those in. And don't forget, if you are a computer science teacher, please pop over to our website where you have everything you need to make your life a breeze in the class. Mushroom. See you all soon. Bye-bye.